Welcome all, Michael here from Atavism Team. Today in quick tutorial I'll present you Dialog Plugin. In this plugin you'll create dialogues for your NPCs in game. You can also add a dialogues to any NPCs that you spawn in game. You can also add or create a chain of uh, dialogues that then it will make the story, it will make also the game more attractive for players. So to create a initial dialogue, we'll go to our Unity project and in our Atavis editor, we'll go to mobs, we'll select here dialogue and like you can see, it is a first dialogue that we'll create. So we need to give it name. The name it is handy if it will be unique in form of the name. So you'll call this welcome, but you can call this welcome and then give it specific name like a some archer or some guard. So it will be then easier for you to manage and assign the dialogues to specific NPCs. We'll just call this welcome. The next part is our the next element it's the opening dialogue. So is it a new dialogue that NPC can give you or is it a response to 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 previous action? As this one is a new dialogue that can give that can be given by any NPCs. We'll just check this box. It is also the next box is is, is it repeatable. So can the dialogue could be action multiple times. So it is up to you to decide. As it is welcome, I don't repeat it. The next part is pre-request dialogues. So that means if you have a chain of dialogues, you can then specify is this dialogue need to be after some specific dialogue. So is that need to be done or if it will be given to player after they talk to somebody else or is that just randomly, oh yeah, you can have it. So as it is the first uh, dialogue, obviously there is no option to say that it must be a, is there any pre-request dialogue needed? The next part is a quest. Is it a needed to finish quest to get this dialogue? So if the player, for example, uh, start the game, obviously he don't will have any finished quests. So we'll select none, but if it's a, if the player already finished some quest and we'll say that the the player need to finish a example quest then we'll just select this and until player don't finish this example quest the the npcs don't will give this this dialogue to this uh, player and then uh, we can also specify pre-request uh, faction so we have here option that if you want to give this specific dialogue only to you know for example friendlies we'll just select this and then we'll say that okay it must be friendly but it will be neutral and then the next part is we'll just specify some text. After we put on some text here, we'll need to save data. Like you can see, we have here a quest, or actually it is a dialogue, but the dialogues are usually used in combined with the, some quests. So now when we have the first quest, now we can 
uh, we can create additional dialogue and I have quest. And here we'll say that it is also, it could be a, well, we don't make it opening dialogue, but we can say that this uh, dialogue could be repeat. So then we'll just say that this dialogue will be given when you finish the welcome uh, dialogue. And again, we don't specify any pre-quest quests, but pre-quest dialogue is specified. And we don't need to specify any other uh, pre-quests, but here we can say that we we have some quest. We have some quest for you. We'll then need to save this. Like you see, we have now two dialogues. Remember, now I say it is easier if you call this quest in some managed way. So you can call this like a NPC gate or NPC warrior dialogue one. Just like I say, it is just easier to manage later on when you have a thousands of dialogues. Thank you for watching and see you soon.